Now, Holly, you gave a very strong speech uh, supporting Israel in the Senate. I'm going to play a clip of it later in the week. But, you know, we are seeing, as you just referred to, this strong bias against Israel by parts of the public broadcaster. What do you want to ask them? Are you, are you going to be grilling the chiefs about why we are seeing this? Well, I mean, just a couple of months ago in, in a previous estimates, uh, I raised with the managing director an issue with regards to a stringer that they had over there, a producer and cameraman, who uh, we had anti-Semitic tweets from. Uh, he was uh, let go after an internal investigation, but no details have been provided on, you know, how much money he was paid or what was the, uh, you know, how, how that issue was settled. Uh, with Mr Abu Ghosh. So this is something that we've seen time and time again and I think we just saw with Tom Joyner exactly. calling out the beheading of babies as BS. Uh, but we've also got issues with a, uh, a headline they played about and had up that a, a Palestinian had been shot when it actually turned out that it was an attempted suicide bombing Palestinian who was shot by Israeli police and that had to be changed. And this is just an ongoing theme with the ABC. They seem to just have one view of the world and until it can be proven completely the other way, uh, they refuse to back down, they refuse to correct the record and they automatically assume that their position is the right one. This is the publicly funded broadcaster. They have to do better. This isn't the first time issues have been raised with them yet it just seems to be getting continually worse whilst we're seeing Mr Anderson's salary package now almost double that of the Prime Minister. Well, and in fact, I noticed that the salary packages are about $32 million over budget this year for, for the ABC. So, look, we're going to cover this, how the estimates go tomorrow night on the show. Holly Hughes, thank you so much for your time. Thanks, Shari.